Hi, I'm Ben Holland. I'm here with David Widoff, and we're going to talk about our Sports Fanatics Odyssey 16 Bracket Challenge, where you, the people, decide your favorite animal here at the aquarium. We have some great first round matchups in the Odyssey 16. The first one is the one seed, the otters, going up against the piranhas. I just think the otters are way too cute. Who do you have winning that round? Ben, when I think of otters, I think adorable. Otters. In the next first round matchup, we have the Jerry West of the aquarium, the seahorse, our logo, up against our moon jellyfish. You know, the seahorse is a real team player with the male giving birth to children. I have them winning that matchup. Who do you have? Float like a jellyfish, sting like a bee. I pick seahorse. Ooh, good choice. That's going to be an otter seahorse matchup in the aquatic eight. In the next region, we have the four seed, the sea lion, going up against the 13 seed, the sea turtle. I just think the sea lion, with all of its training and sportability, is going to easily overcome the sea turtle. Who do you have? Kick it over here, Pele. I'm going sea lion. We're in agreement. In the next matchup we have in that region, we have a fan favorite, especially amongst kids, the clownfish against the harbor seal. I have the harbor seal winning that one. I just think it's really cute, and it's going to have what it takes to pull through. Who do you have, David? When I was young, I had a dog named Whiskers. I'll take harbor seal. I agree. I think that's going to be a very interesting aquatic eight matchup, an all pinniped matchup with the sea lion against the harbor seal. They share the same habitat, so I hope there's no ill will during that week. Over on the other half of the bracket, we have the number two seed, the sloth, up against the 15th seed, paddlefish. I just don't think there's any competition here. The sloth is too adorable. It will easily beat the paddlefish. What do you think, David? Boom! Sloth. In the next matchup in that region, we have an armadillo, Pickles, who has amazing athletic ability and speed against the Siamese crocodiles. I'm picking an upset here. I'm going crocodiles because they're in water, the out of water. I think they have what it takes to advance to the next round. Her name is Pickles, and she do win. In the final region of the bracket, we have the three seed, the penguins, up against the 14 seed, the stingray. I just think the penguins, we see them out here training, running, playing with balls every day. They're going to win this matchup. What do you think, David? They're as cold as ice. I got penguins. In our final matchup of the Odyssey 16, we have the sharks up against one of our parrots. I think the sharks are going to win this one, David. We have one of the largest collection of, collections of sharks in any aquarium in the United States. I think they have what it takes to advance to the aquatic eight. Who do you have? That parrot just made a basket. I got the parrot. Yeah. That is your upset pick of the week. The athletic ability of the parrot is what drove him to select that one in that big time 10 over six upset. I'm gonna choose the crocodile over the armadillo in an 11-7 matchup. David, who's your sleeper for the tournament? I got Pickles the armadillo. Interesting, I have her going out in the first round. My sleeper is the harbor seal. I think the cuteness that it has there, it can overcome the sea lion and advance to the freshwater four. Who do you have winning it all? Eat and sleep all day, sounds like my type of gal. I got Squidney. Squidney our sloth. That's a really good pick at the two seed. I'm going with penguins for ours. I think the fact that you can interact with them in our penguin interaction program is going to have what it takes to excel them to the title. So we need you to get out and vote every week, coincides with the basketball tournament, and vote each week and pick your favorite animals. Thank you. Bye bye.